Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and we are live from Cannes, France for Data Cloud Global Congress, day two. And joining me today is Allison Clements. She is a partner at ASG. Allison, welcome. Thanks, Buffy. It's so nice to be here. Yes, it's an honor to have you here today to talk about one of the most important topics in our industry. I mean, we're hearing about it conference after conference, day after day, and that's the increased convergence between the power and the data center industries. How is ASG helping clients navigate this intersection as energy infrastructure becomes a make or break factor? Absolutely, it's a really critical question. And in fact, it's why I've come to the data center industry from the power sector to try and figure out ways to educate investors, energy regulators in the US uh, and market participants on how we're gonna get this done. You know, what ASG does to try and bridge that is brings policy, commercial, and technical energy expertise and adds it to its really deep bench of data center development expertise to help clients get to solutions. And so last year, ASG looked at about 500 different opportunities, narrowed it down to just you know a few dozen based on issues like power availability and access, as well as all of the other components that go into a successful data center development. Yeah, I mean, we're hearing a lot about the power dilemma, alternative power solutions, stranded power. Uh, we've heard it all here, and day after day we continue to hear it. So it sounds like such an important role for you uh, joining the ASG team. You bring experience from FERC into ad your advisory work. Uh, what policy or market design shifts are most urgent to enable more sustainable, scalable infrastructure? The two most important things, right? Right. Sustainable and scalable. Why don't you tell our viewers a little and bit more? And reliable and affordable. Of How course. do you do it all? Yeah. Uh, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission is the U.S. federal regulator for, for the electricity grid. And I think there are um, some commercial opportunities and some collaborative opportunities to break through the power constraint. There also are policies that can change and help improve speed to power on a more systematic basis. You know, as we're seeing in the U.S., things like rationalizing the large load interconnections. So having some sort of way to uh, get the speculation out of the line uh, right. and getting some transparency into that line. We have a, a saying at ASG, no more fake data centers. Um, so that's one policy. And then the other policy that comes to mind for me is how do we get more out of our existing grid in the U.S. today, right? Big infrastructure like new gas plants, new solar and battery projects, they take a while to develop. Yeah. And the urgency to get speed to power is today's problem. And so there are things like hardware and software that you can apply to the existing electricity grid to make it a lot more dynamic and increase the number of data centers that can connect without that waiting for that new longer infrastructure. Yeah, I mean, speed to power is the key, right? Yeah. To all of these projects that we're hearing. Um, and like you mentioned, no more fake data, data centers. I mean, we're hearing about that too. Okay. Uh, energy reliability and environmental impact are often seen in tension. How are your clients balancing the sustainability goals with that need for the resilient high capacity power? So that's another big key topic that we're hearing. Yeah, for sure. And I think, you know, I think developers are looking at gas as the bridging um, opportunity. But I think in most cases, they're keeping their eye on the prize, which right. is what is the technology that will take us forward? How can we think about adapting our practices so we can be a more flexible load for just a few hours a year? Um, if you're willing to offer flexibility, you can really take opportunities to get through the interconnection queue faster. So um, I think the ultimate winner will be that combination of technology that helps to give that resilience and also the flexibility needed to work with the grid and not in, you know, against the grid. Yeah. Working with the grid, not against the grid. I like that, Allison. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to add today? Um, I think that's it. It's really, really important issues. I'm glad you're covering them and I'm happy to chat with you. Yeah. Happy to chat with you too. Uh, where can viewers go if they want to learn more or chat with you? Uh, would get some of this amazing advice that you could offer. Oh, thanks. Absolutely. Um, ASG-team.com, and you'll see the really impressive roster of partners we have put together. Yeah. And Allison, thank you again for joining us for another episode of JSA TV from Data Cloud Global Congress in Cannes, France. And viewers, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.